Hey guys, welcome to the channel, and today we are playing Prison Architect. And I've turned this game on, I've played it quite a bit, um, so I've turned this on to be, uh, well, I say I've played this a lot, and then I can't even move the mouse. Okay, it's been a while since I've played this. Uh, so I've turned it on with unlimited funds, and we're doing a medium-sized prison, and let's see, I've turned off some of the things like... Um, disasters failures that kind of stuff because i really just want to design a prison i'm not really concerned with making a lot of money and things of that nature so the way this game works for those of you that have not played this before so we've got deliveries coming in right now to our delivery pad and then we've got a garbage pad here for anything that we destroy or we need to get rid of construction wise these trucks will also take those away soon we will also be starting to get our uh prisoners arriving on buses so they will stack up here in the entrance if we don't get something built pretty quick so the first thing we need to do is we need to get our, our warden an office we need to hire him so let's go ahead and get that started let's see not sure if brick or concrete all right, so I'm not going to leave our deliveries in that area. Let's make the entrance to our uh, prison up here. So immediately right off the bat, let's make our... ...office here. So we need to put... Let's see, planning... That's if we are planning something, emergencies. They've added a lot of features into this since I've uh, played this last time. Where's our warden? Do we even have a warden? Here he is. There we go. There's his, his stuff. Now we need to make him an office. Somehow rooms. There is office. Office. Okay, and we need an entrance. Um, where's door? Yeah, they really have changed this since I was in here last. Here's the doors. Okay, yeah, we've added all kinds of new features. Nice. So we'll put a staff door there. I don't want just a random door. That's not going to be right. I don't see anything else. Yeah, okay. So we'll put a door here. We kind of have to wait for our construction people to build us an area here. Now we can hire some additional construction folks. To help speed this up. Some extra workmen. There we go. Let's get this going faster. Alright. So, our warden is in his office. But, he has no electricity. He has no water. He has nothing. I don't know how we're making $11, but that's besides the fact. So, let's put a power station right here next to him, like right here. Put it up against the wall, no, because you have to put capacitors next to it. We'll go ahead and do that. This um, allows the generator, the electricity, to handle a larger amount of electricity. Otherwise you run out of electricity and it keeps you from having to put generators everywhere. All right, so now we need a water boiler. Jeez, they've got all kinds of new stuff in here. It's been a while since I've played this game. All right, so let's put the water here. And then we probably need to build um, some foundation around it, right? We'll make this out of concrete. Just like that. And then we need a door. Just 
staff door here. And let's add. What's this? Prison floor is a high tech look. That's cool. What do we want for the office of the warden? You probably ought to have marble tile, right? Surely. Let's give him marble tile. Okay. Now we need to hook up his electricity. And that is in utilities. We need to find electrical cable. Let's also hook up our pump. I think this will be, yeah, that's enough. You don't have to run it to every light fixture. Just get it into the room and then it will connect everything else up for you. So now he has some power in his office. We're using hardly anything from our generator. So that's nice. We've got eight prisoners arriving in like nine hours. We have no place to put them. Why is our door screwed up? I don't think that was supposed to be done that way. Let's try that again, shall we? Where is... I thought we could have, like, a utility. But maybe not. Okay, well. Um, we have to put that door on now. The correct way. Sure, how to rotate this. Is that going to install it correctly? No. What is happening here? doesn't look right. All right. One second. Let me look this up real quick. Um, rotate door. Oh, yes, I remember this. It's either middle mouse button or R. There we go. So let's dismantle this again. Keeping our construction guys really busy. Put that staff door back, but this time correctly. Okay, so now we need to start building some cells to hold our people because we have <laughs> just a little while before they arrive. And they're just going to stack up here in deliveries. Not good. Okay, let's build some additional. Um, we'll build it brick. So here we'll build an, an entrance first. Like an intake. Make it something like that. Like a hallway. And then we need to mark that as... Um, reception. door. Now, there's a trick to this that I learned a long time ago, and that was to put... See, look, the prisoners have arrived, and they're realizing that they have no cell to go to. So I'm going to put a door here. Okay. Then, what you want to do is to prevent them from getting out and escaping on you. You need to build another wall. Or at least I do. So we'll build a concrete wall 
Ooh, let's do a tiled wall. This is new. An oriental wall? I'm not sure that that's uh, politically correct these days, but we will cliff edge. Interesting. A wall that's overgrown, some art deco. I like art deco. Let's do art deco. I'm not sure what happened here, but that's fine. We'll just make it into a... So when they come in here, I don't know if I can put anything in there. So when they come in... Here. To here. And here. Okay. I like to put in multiple. I probably shouldn't have put that other. That's fine. It'll be fine. Promise. Okay. So now we need to put in like remote door. Door secure. That's food flaps on it. Door secret. A hidden door disguised as a bookcase. <laughs> that could be here as you walk in. That's awesome. Okay, so first of all, let's put in a jail door. A gray jail door. Here. We'll also put one in here. Guards have to open those, and these are staff doors to get into the front of the prison. Okay. Now we need some utilities. Run this right over here. Down through here. Okay. Yeah, they're going to get stuck here because guards have to come and open the gate each time, but I can lock this open temporarily. Lock open. Lock open. There we go. All right. Sweet. Um, can I not take our prison? Where is intake? Intake, intake. Here we go. Let's close off the prison for now. Until we get some infrastructure built here. Alright, so now we've got a nice Art Deco feel once you walk into the building, which is kind of cool. We need to put down some tile floor or something. What do we want? landscape. I don't want landscaping. I want flooring. Why is snow in the flooring section? That should be in landscaping. Um, sand makes them walk very slowly, so you could put like all this in sand so they can't get out of there quickly, but it also affects our people, so we don't want to do that. Fancy tiles. Checkered floor. Oh, that would look gaudy. Running track. Iron floor, cargo floor, these are all new, concrete floor, concrete tile, um, so what do we want for our lobby? I kind of like this because it kind of goes with the whole, well not really, it doesn't really go with Art Deco, but should we do it or should we use, let's do fancy tiles, see if that looks okay. One delivery of fancy tiles coming in. Yeah, that looks fine. Okay. So we will cover the rest of this. So in order for this to be a reception, we need it to be indoors, an office desk. Okay, so we need to put an office desk in there. Sometimes it's faster to type this in to find these. So an office desk. Mm, do it like right there, right? What else does it need? Reception needs a table and some chair, at least a chair. Okay. Objects. 
A footbridge? Chair. An electric chair. A chair. An office chair. A deck chair. Okay, a chair, and then we need a table. some guards at this point, right? One, two, three. So they can start processing people. So we can unlock the door and then unlock this door. Are we supposed to assign someone? I'm trying to remember how this works. That's cool. I don't think that was a thing before. Staff. What else do we need? A chief. But he needs, like, an office as well. Cyber cuts. Okay. Don't need any of those people yet. Why are you not taking the, them inside? I know. You need a path. They're just standing in the rain. It's fine. Um, paving stone. From here, to here, to here, to here, to here. I don't like that. That did not turn out what I expected. It's kind of ugly. stone. What does that look like? Much better. Where did our chief go? Did he just leave? Objects. Well, he needs a desk as well. Ugh, the desk. School desk. We should give him a school desk. Alright, so what does his office need? Rooms. Office. Needs to be a minimum 4x4. Four four. Office desk. Chair. Filing cabinet. Alright, so he needs a filing cabinet and a chair. File. And he needs a chair. And we need to get some janitors. This place cleaned up. All right, where is our chief? Okay, if he's here, where is he? Is he just wandering around? Oh, there he is. Dude, you have an office. Did I not make it an office? Thought I did. Office. Warden's office. Now he's going to his office. Gotcha. Okay. Now where is reception? Reception is here. We'll use these as storerooms or something. I'm not sure yet exactly what we're going to use there. Because I don't think they're wide enough to be an office. But they can be a storeroom for sure. Or, or a, nope, can't use that either. Storage can be anything. So 
So we can do something like that. And that. And let's build a wall. And we need to put in a door for that. Staff door. Now they're bringing people into reception. Thank goodness, it's taking them forever. Hey guys, I've always got more content for you to watch. Just check out my latest video over there on the left or what YouTube thinks you should watch next. Don't forget, if you like the content, hit that subscribe button and hit like to let me know that you care. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.